Hi, welcome to another video. As I'm making this video, I've made about 253 videos, and believe it or not, the list of tools I've covered is very wide-ranging. From coding tools, to perplexity alternatives, to cursor alternatives, to rag tools and whatnot. Plus, as the new year is approaching, I thought it would be a good idea to cover the best AI tools that I'm currently using, most of which are open source, and some of them are free. So today, I'll be covering 21 AI tools that are open source or free, without limits at the very least. Let's get right into it, and let me show you all these tools. First, let's start with none other than Olama. Most of you would know about Olama, and some of you may not. Olama is an open source AI model inference tool that allows you to get up and running with large language models in literally seconds. To install it, you can just hit the download button, choose your operating system, and follow the on screen instructions. It's super easy to install, and installing models over it is even easier. You can just go to the models page, and here you can select the model you want to use. Generally, you can run a model up to 4B on even a simple machine with, like, 8 gigs of RAM. I recommend using the Quen 2.5 models, specifically the 3B model, as it's the best for the size and is generally balanced across all sides. Installing a model with Olama is quite simple. You can just copy the command for the model, run it inside your terminal, and it will get installed. Then, you can run it like this inside your terminal and use it. However, many of you won't be terminal users and would need a chat GPT-like interface. Well, you can do that quite easily with the next tool, which is Open Web UI. Open Web UI is another open source tool that allows you to connect it to Olama or OpenAI's API and provides a nice looking interface. Installing Open Web UI is quite simple. First, you'll need to install Docker by going to Docker's site and just following the on screen instructions. Then, just run this command from Open Web UI's GitHub page. This will take some time and spin up a Docker instance for you with the app. Then, you can just run it, configure a few settings, and it will connect to your Olama instance, giving you a nice looking interface. You can select models here, or you can also directly use it to pull models and chat over here. It has a ton of features like voice call, video call, and more, so you can configure it to your liking. Now, I also want to discuss another thing while we're at it, and that's the model. So, you can use it with the Olama model locally, but it might start getting limited in knowledge after a while. Which brings us to the next tool, and that's Mitral's free API. Mitral has a free API with almost no rate limits, and you can use that API with any tool you want that supports OpenAI compatible APIs, including Open Web UI. The best model you get with this free API is the Mistral Large model which performs extremely well. If you don't want to go through the hoops of configuring the API, you can also use their platform, which is free, and gives you access to a bunch of models that you can use without any limits. But what if you don't like Mistral for some reason? Well, in that case, I have another tool for you, and it's Sambanova. Sambanova has a free API with negligible rate limits, allowing you to use it with any application that supports OpenAI compatible API structures and giving you access to the Llama 3.1405B model as the best model you can use. The main thing here is that it's super fast while being free. If you don't want to go through the hoops of setting it up with a custom interface, then you can also use it for free via their platform as well. But this is not the only platform, because the next tool is also similar, and it's Cerebrus. 
Cerebras also has a very fast AI inference platform that's free to use and has amazing features. I have a video on it, which will be linked below. It supports all the Llama models up to 70B in size. But this is not the only one either, because there's another similar platform, and that's called Groke. Groke is also a similar chat platform that has super fast inference, and you can use it to get some pretty good generation pretty fast. It also has a free API and is very similar to Cerebra's, so that's good. But what if you want to become an AI-powered coder without paying the $20 subscription on Cursor? Well, a simple tool for that can be Zed. Zed is an open source editor that's faster than VS Code or Cursor, but also gives you AI features for free. And it's not just any cheap AI model. It's the same Claude 3.5 Sonnet model that Cursor charges money for. Although it won't be this way forever, as the AI features were recently launched and are free for now, you can still use it with Olima or any OpenAI compatible API or Gemini if you want. So, that's super cool to use. You can check out my individual video on it, where I go in depth. But what if you don't want to use Zed for some reason? Well, then you can use Ader. Ader is another open source tool that allows you to code with just simple prompts. I have a ton of videos on Ader. I'll link a playlist for you guys if you want to check it out. But anyway, you can just install it quite easily with this one pip install Ader chat command, and then you can configure it with anything, including local models. And once you do that, you can start using it in a jiffy, which is just amazing. You can create stuff and much more. But maybe you're not a terminal person. Then, you can use the next tool, which is Klein. Klein is a VS Code extension that plugs right into your VS Code and gives you a cursor composer-like experience, but on steroids. It allows you to connect it to anything, including local models, and then you can ask it to do anything. It will create the files with the code, and it can also work on existing code bases. So, that's super amazing. I also have a ton of videos on it, which I'll also link in the description. But what if you also need a co-pilot alternative that doesn't cost $10 and is even better? Well, then you can use Supermaven. Supermaven is a very simple, free co-pilot alternative that is extremely fast. You can just install it on your VS Code, sign in with an email, and the extension will be enabled. It's really very fast, almost instantaneous, and the suggestions it gives are really good. It even does mathematics and everything in auto-completion, which is just amazing. If you want privacy and to do auto-completion locally, you can also use the next tool, Continue. Continue is an open-source co-pilot alternative that allows you to connect it to any kind of API. It also gives you a chat interface which you can use to chat, and you can use it as an autocomplete provider by setting it up with a local Olama model, which is just amazing. I also have a ton of videos on this, which I'll link in the description. But what if you're a person who doesn't like to host stuff locally and just wants a site where you can go and get a whole VS Code interface? Well, for that, you can use Project IDX, Project IDX is by Google and is fully free. It gives you a whole VS Code interface on the web, so you can use it from your iPad, your mobile, or anywhere. Not just that, it gives you a whole Android emulator on the web to test your Android apps. Plus, it also has AI features that are even cooler. You can install all the VS Code and local stuff there as well, because it's basically a proper VS Code. I have a proper video on it as well, so check that out. But what if you want something similar to Project IDX, but with free GPUs? Well, for that, you can use Lightning AI. Lightning AI is technically a collab alternative 
that gives you 22 free GPU hours, along with a full VS Code setup that you can use. I have some videos on it, which I'll also link in the description. Basically, it's like you get a whole VS Code interface with a free GPU, which is just amazing to use. But what if you don't want to use a whole VS Code interface and just want to create some stuff with simple prompts? Well, then you can just use Bolt. Bolt is free to use with a limit and can also be hosted locally if you want. It also allows you to resolve bugs and everything with a live preview, which is just amazing and works pretty well. The free plan is also pretty good, and hosting it locally works well too. I have a proper video on it as well, so you can go check that out. It also uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet in the free tier, which is cool. But what if you don't want to pay the much higher fees of Claude's AI subscription and still get a comparable chat result for free? Well, then you can use the DeepSeek chat interface. DeepSeek is one of the best open source coding models and really comparable to Claude in coding benchmarks. Unlike Claude, it's open source, and it also has a free chat interface where you can chat easily with it, get code generations, preview them, and more, which is just amazing. You don't need to pay for Claude at all with this. Plus, their API is also extremely cheap, which is great if you want to use it for something other than chatting. Now, what if you're a student or someone who likes to write a ton of notes and maybe wants an AI co-pilot that can summarize them or let you chat with all your notes? Then you can use Rior. Rior is an open source notes editor that uses the markdown file format which means it's backward compatible with Obsidian if you use that. And it gives you a similar interface to Obsidian with an AI co-pilot that allows you to chat with it and do almost anything. I also have a proper video on that, which I'll link in the description. But what if you want something that can do almost anything with simple prompts? Then you can use Open Interpreter. Open Interpreter is also an open source project that allows you to connect it to various LLM providers, including Olima. And you can start it up, ask it to do anything, and it can run code and its tools to get stuff done, which is pretty good. It also has an OS mode that allows you to give Open Interpreter full control of your desktop, and it can even use the Claude Computer Use API, which is amazing. I also have videos on it, which will be linked below. Now, what if you don't want to go through the hassle of setting up Olama and then open web UI and whatnot? Then you can just use Jane. Jane is a simple to use application that you can download and install locally. It gives you simple installation options as well, in a jiffy, which is pretty interesting. It's super easy to set up and works well, which is also really good. But what if you also want a local perplexity alternative because you don't want to pay for perplexity? Then you can use Perplexica. Perplexica is a super easy to use local alternative to perplexity that works pretty well. It doesn't even require you to set up any APIs because it can do everything locally. I also have a video on it, which will again be linked in the description. Now, what if you don't want to pay for MidJourney either and just want to use a simple web interface for image generation and everything? Then you can use Invoke. It is an open source web UI that allows you to manage all your models easily, install or uninstall them with one click, and it has a really great looking interface, which is also amazing. I'll link its full video below. The last tool is the Google AI Studio. Google AI Studio is a free-to-use tool that allows you to access all the Gemini models for free, and you can use it all you want without any limits. It also supports video understanding, image understanding, and everything. It also gives you a free API, although that comes with rate limits. So, 
This is also a great tool for simple chatting with all the features. So, these are all the tools for today. These tools have really great value, and all of them are either free or open source, which is just amazing. So, make sure to check all the tools out, and let me know in the comments if you guys like them or not. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.